welcome to the Mind Record server. My name is Weird and Bearded, and this is not the episode that I intended to put out this week. I was actually recording another episode. I was collecting resources to build a farm. Specifically, I was collecting some gold in the nether when, what do you know, White died and lost all my stuff. So I figured this happens often enough. Maybe people would like to see how I get my stuff back, how long it takes to get my stuff back. So this is the episode we're doing today. I am going to put a clock up on the screen right about now. And then I'm going to set that off and we are going to see just how long it takes me to get my stuff back. Let's get this thing started. So this takes several steps. The first step is just buying things. So I'm going to just pick up all of my emeralds, a load of books, there's another emerald in there. And we are going to go on a little bit of a shopping spree. So let's convert all of those into emeralds. I've also got a couple of shocker boxes because I am probably going to need them. So on me when I died, I of course had my armor because I always wear my armor, which does mean I also need to get a fresh elytra. I am all out of elytras. So that's going to be fun. Uh, I also had my sword, my silk touch pick and my fortune pick. So I'm just going to move across all of the uh, villagers, seeing if they have what I need. So that now should be all of the books from here that I need. So I'll go put this stuff back. And that's, that's the first step. Like I said, this, this is a multi-step process. Um, and let's convert these back into block. Oh, lovely. No leftovers. I've already grabbed some food. May as well wait for the sun to go down so I can sleep. Then I'm going to come over. I'm going to grab out the sword and a couple of books for a little bit of enchanting ahead of time. I'm also going to grab out the books I need for the trident. And then I need to head over to the portal by the lake, where I should already have a spare trident over there. But that will get me onto the nether roof and I can get over to the raid farm. So let's head over to the raid farm. Okay, so now I'm over here. I'm going to put down the shulker boxes again, I think. I want my armour. Just to help me out a little, because I need to go and get Bad Omen. And then get the raid farm started. Now, I do actually need to get rid of these guys as well, because otherwise they'll follow me and break the farm. Oh, eat, eat, eat. So hopefully the raid victory bar will disappear soon. I don't really want to kill them anymore until it does, just in case I come up with an issue, because it's the first time round. But then I'll get my macro auto clicker started and we can begin the loop.
Well, that is a lot of progress done. So in here, we still got some books, some for the Elytra and some for the other diamond pick that I forgot to buy. So we're going to get that sorted now. And then it's over to the end. Trying to find myself an Elytra. That is step number three. We've bought the stuff. We've enchanted a load of stuff. That should be the majority of the time used up. So if I remember correctly, the picks cost me 24 emeralds. Oh. I'll store the pumpkin pies in here, but now they're not necessary. Then we come down. Hopefully this guy's going to sell me another uh, diamond. Oh, of course. It's, it's much cheaper because I've got the hero of the village. And I'm hoping I have enough levels to at least get most of this stuff on, if not all of it. So, uh, mending, silk touch, unbreaking three, and efficiency five. Wonderful. Now for the end. The end's kind of awkward. So I am going to take over a load of blocks. Let's just take a load of prismarine. I want my pick, but everything else I'm going to leave behind just in case I lose it and then an ender pearl just need the one hopefully I've still got a good amount of food now, unfortunately the end is fairly well explored especially by me because I keep dying and need more elytras so I'm going to have to Go out quite a way. So, I will bring you back in once I have found myself an in-city. At least an in-city with a boat that doesn't look like it's been done already. I, I forgot I should have my sword with me. So I'm going to need my sword to fight the shulker that guards the Elytra. I should also set my spawn. Oh, that shit, I, it doesn't have any blocks around it, so this could be an interesting one. Are there any shulkers around the bottom? It's difficult to tell because they're on the other side if they are there. This could be the one to go for. I see shulkers. Okay, this looks like it's not been taken. So there should be a delight there that I can have. Just got to fill her up now. So, oh, I'm already under me. Around here should do. Up we go. Okay, I'm in. Let's get rid of the shulker. I see the elytra. Die, die, die. There we go. While I'm here. Let's all grab the iron. But of course, the main prize. We now have the elytra, so I can head back. I saw I passed a uh, gate, an end gateway, not too far back. But hopefully, I can find that again. There it is. Ah, wonderful.
But this will take me right back to my base. And then the next step is I've got wonderful diamond gear. I want it to be netherite. So I need to get some ancient debris. I also need to get some gold. Because apart from the stuff I just picked up, I don't have any because I lost all my stuff getting gold. Okay. Mending. Unbreaking. I'm going to dump all of this stuff. So, uh, in the nether, I actually have an area specifically for mining ancient debris. I am going to probably for now just have these two on me. I'll take the elytra just because it's quite far away at the moment. Oh, it's on. I've got one sack of rockets left, so I'll, I'll need to get some more rockets later on, but that's not an important thing for today. But I have a tunnel bore. It's actually currently at the end of its tunnel. I'm going to go down, uh, go in, into the nether, go into the tunnel, take down the tunnel bore, rebuild it elsewhere. I may have messed up ever so slightly and uh, accidentally broke the coral that I need for this. But let's grab... I think you'll do. Yeah, you'll do. Oh, forgot to have my armor on. So this should be it. This should be working just fine. So what I've got to do is click on that and we start moving forwards. So I want to make sure I got that ladder just so I, I can replace it afterwards. But apart from that, it's now a case of keep going until I uncover 24 ancient debris. And if I see any nether gold, I should also be grabbing that. Because I have very little gold. And if it's such as in this scenario, I end up with blocks on top of it, I need to make sure they get removed. Because otherwise, the TNT will stop too early and will destroy the machine. And believe it or not, machine destruction is not what I'm looking for.
And there we have it, 24 ancient debris. I need to go and get this smelted up. I also need to get the gold smelted up. And we have travelled a long way. There was very little ancient debris in the walls here. This took time. This feels like the right spot if I look up. There we go. Helmet. Leggings. Boop. Sword. Pick one. And pick two. You may have noticed I also picked up the hoe. There is a good reason for that, because we are now going off to find an ancient city. So I can get some swift sneak on these leggings. So let's uh, find a spot for the ladders. I don't need my Fortune 3 pick. I will take all this stuff, though. I'll also take a bed with me. Uh, I believe there's a bed in here. Yep. Yeah. Something else I was going to grab. I can probably grab some torches. I grab a stack of torches. Oh, a boat. I think there might be a boat over here already, actually. There is. So, as I start making my way over to what will hopefully be an unexplored ancient city. There is actually another clip to show in this episode, because last night I had a little bit of a meet-up with Free for a trade. So yeah, I have a head, you have payment. I have, I do have payment. Okay, I've got There's a payment. There's the head. See? Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, it's, it's rotating the different way. <laughs> yeah, it's it rotating in the same direction that you were rotating, but pleasure doing business with you. you I can't do what? that. I can't do that with the payment. It, it, it doesn't quite I, work. I would be concerned if you could. <laughs> I can do this. Well, actually, you might be able to. Uh, so I, I really can't. Uh, from, from, from a different... Uh, on a side note, we do have the uh, the roleplay mod, so <laughs> you could effectively put a diamond on your head. Wait, what? What? Oh, we... Um... We've got the role play mod, so we can enter in uh, custom hat through the use of. Oh right, right, so, yeah, but, but, right, right. That requires yeah. setup. I can't just put a diamond on my head. That's just true. Yeah, no, unfortunately. If it was yeah. easy, yeah, that one might be too. Cool. All right. I will take this and thank you. Start, start my shenanigans on a foot. Fantastic. So yes, nice to see another rival against Top, somebody I can potentially work with in the future. And I think I'm at about the right spot. There is some... Oh, interesting. Anyway, getting distracted, getting distracted. I think I'm in about the right spot. I'm probably just going to jump into this cave and then start digging down. Well, I found it. Here's hoping I can get somewhere safe. This will do. Okay, so I found a landing spot. I need somewhere to put my bed. I mean, I suppose this, as an endpoint, could be quite a good spot. And now time to very carefully go through this area and find some chests, which hopefully haven't been opened. We're sneak two, so there's definitely stuff like this about. All I need is one more Swiss Sneak 2 or two Swiss Sneak 1s. And then I am good to go. Got it. I didn't realise it took this long. I suppose I don't normally do everything. 
I normally do bits of things. Let's hope there's nothing above me. Good. Another Swiss need too. There we go. That's everything I need. So I'm going to find my bed and then make my way back to base. Do I care about the bed? Don't suppose I do, although the bed should help me find a way out of here, although here's one way out. So I find myself back at the raid farm. I need just to get some levels so I can get this last bit attached. So let's set my spawn and pass the night because I imagine there's a lot of bad stuff over there and then we're going to get bad omen once again and finish this thing off. And with that, I am now all geared back up. So that is me done, I swear. Five hours, 59 minutes, 53 seconds. I wasn't looking to see how close to six hours I could make this. I thought it would be four. But still, I now have all of my stuff back. I can continue working on projects for the next episode. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Weird and Bearded, and I will see you all next time.